Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. You did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so... cold. I didn't recruit her for her looks. The Normandy already has you, Kelly. You are just too sweet. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Thane would like to see you down in life support on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, uh, it seems more difficult to talk about. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extra net contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. My father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. Put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads. He tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic. No sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I... attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. 
I have not seen him or talked to him since. Well, that's not the choice I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Kolyad. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of Sim. I used my contacts to trace Kolyad. He has become... disconnected. He does what his body wills. Well, what's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is... This is not a path he should walk. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? It looked suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. What happens to the shipping agent who is cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is, and how willing she is to correct a mistake. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. Pardon me, I'm on a call. How can you short sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks? They're going to see a ton of business. A ton of immediate charity. Ilium Entertainment would like to respond to complaints about our upcoming film, Blast of the Jellyfish Stings, the Hanar and I. Shepard. It's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hint says to the location and... It's about Faring. He's still alive. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. 
They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. You don't know what that means to me, Shepard. I didn't know who you'd be when you came back. If you'd feel... They brought you back. And now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other alien contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and the Ket are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. <laughs> I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. I think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. 
Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the Captain. She's not as... polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell in your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get ugly. Works for me. They're not backing down. Tell Captain Inyala to send back up. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. If Eclipse knows where Oriana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Right. On the far side of the conveyor line, time your shots. They've seen us. Okay. Watch for the drone.
This looks interesting.
Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't this thing go any faster? What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Did Niket know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. You know it, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Listen to me, I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No! I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully, no trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty, but kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Uh, I'll tell him that you hid her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. Bitch. Enemies on our right. I'll tear you. I got your shields back up. Nice. 
There could be more Eclipse Mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human. Just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch... You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part? You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. Any other old friends your father might use against you? No. I cut ties with everyone else. Anyone I'm close to now works for Cerberus. Or oh, you. My father's powerful, but he won't cross the elusive man. You still have Orion. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. Okay. Let's go. I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Touch me and I will smear the world with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences. Until the mission's over. Sure. I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard.
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it, and he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. A lot of women like bad boys. Oh, I don't know. Good guys are pretty nice, too. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Samara would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shep. Samara wants a moment with you, Commander. I'm glad I joined your team. It has been too long since I traveled with companions. When the time comes, I will do whatever is necessary. You're an important part of this crew, Samara. It is my honor. Also, there is a matter I need to discuss. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. I remember hearing her called an Ardat Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardat Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this... Monster. She is my daughter. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing. Claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth.
like an awful thing to legalize all the dangers are right okay listen give fax a full refund do you hear me he knows i don't know how it doesn't matter credit him a full refund now and then get your ass someplace safe leave me alone i can't talk to anybody Seal off those trace samples and get them back to the lab. We got multiple shots fired. Yeah, techs are going over the place now. Central, we got an open carrier on this end. Switching to a coded relay. What's going on? This area is sealed off. Please step back, sir. Sealed off? Why? Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. Thank you, officer. Your people are dismissed. You can't do that. Already done. Tila Vasir, Special Tactics and Recon. A Spectre? I heard you weren't reinstated. Too bad. You did good work. So, I assume you had business with your friend this evening, Commander. Liara was following a lead on the Shadow Road. The Shadow Broker. Dangerous enemy to have. What are the facts so far? About 25 minutes ago, someone took a shot at Tissoni. Note the bullet holes. She stuck around for almost four minutes before leaving the building. Whatever she was doing was important. If Liara isn't here, where is she? If I knew that, I wouldn't be sifting through her crap. There's no blood, no body. It looks like Tissoni got away. The sniper didn't plan on her kinetic barrier. Clever girl. Paranoid, but clever. Did the police find anything when they arrived? Just the mess and the bullet holes. I gave them a gold star for finding the bullet holes. Liara was expecting me. She would have left a message here. Her office wasn't safe. I'm not surprised. Ilium is just Omega with expensive shoes. I haven't found anything useful for tracking her down yet. You knew Tassoni better than I do. Where would she have hidden her backups? Let me take a look around. It's part of my old armor. Looks like someone didn't like you much either. The rifle used to do that wasn't standard issue. The kinetic barrier deflected the shots, but they still managed to penetrate the glass. A doctorate from the University of Ceres at Lanthesia. She's getting good use out of all that education. Yeah, that's not the Asari homeworld. I'm not sure what planet that is. It's Ilos. The picture changed when you touched it. It must be keyed to your ID. What does it show now? It's a Prothean dig site. Liara did leave a message. There are a few Prothean-looking objects around the apartment. Let's see what we can find. 
Those things must be worth a fortune. Here, I've got something here. Backup disc. Let's try it on her terminal. It looks like she recorded a call. What have you got for me, Sigat? It was tricky, but you paid for the best. I can narrow it down to a cluster, maybe even a system. How soon can you have it? Shouldn't take long. Come to my office. Barrier Frontiers in the Dracon Trade Center. Gotta say, though, to Sony. You're making me a little nervous. How big is the trouble that could come out of this? Relax, Sikat. I'll see you in a few hours. This must be important. The Shadow Broker's people already tried to kill her once. I know where the Dracon Trade Center is. My car's outside. Let's go. Frontier's offices are located on the third floor. I don't hear police chatter. We must have missed the party. Liara's in there! This could be a problem. They just took out three floors to make sure she's dead. I'll grab this guy car and seal off the building from the top. I'll start down here and work my way up. Just leave some for me. going on? Frontier employee. Looks like he got caught in the explosion. I wouldn't take any bets on Tassoni's informant surviving that blast. Set the bombs, killing everyone. Casualty here. Looks like he's got bullet wounds. Watch yourself, this here. They used military grade hardware. Frontiers office. We are assigned in just a few minutes ago. Understood, Commander. Welcome to Barrier Frontiers. Let us be your guide to limitless yeah. Expand. Exploration. Look at. Thanks. 
shot. That's all of them. Masir, these damaged pipes are on fire. They're blocking the stairs. Look for a switch to activate the fire suppression systems. Got it. Should be clear now. Good. I'm on my way down. If I'd have been a few seconds faster, I could have stopped them. Is this a cat? Must have been. No sign of that data Liara talked about. Looks like a dead end. Uh, speaking of which, did you find your friend's body? You mean this body? Liara. This is Vasir. She's a specter. This is the woman who tried to kill me. You've had a rough day, so I'll let that slide. Why don't you put that gun down? I saw you. I doubled back after I left. I watched you break into my apartment. You didn't know where Liara went, because she hid the message. You needed me to find it for you. Thanks for the help. Once she had my location, she signaled the Shadow Broker's forces. They bombed the building to take me out. She found Sakat, took his data, and killed him. I'm guessing she's still got the disc on her. Good guess. Not that you'll ever see what's on it. You pure blood dick!
I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Around the corner. We're not going into the construction site, are? Oh, goddess. I'm not letting her escape with that data. Hurry, Shepard, we're losing her. Traffic! Oncoming traffic! We'll be fine. She's dropping proximity charges. I noticed. She's got reinforcements. What kind of guns does this thing have? It's a taxi. It has a fare meter. Wonderful. Truck! I know. Truck! I know. There we go. You're enjoying this. A head-on collision at this speed. Yeah, I hear those can be bad for you. Out. Out. They're dropping re- There's Vizier's car. Come on, she can't have gotten far. They've blocked the door. There they are.
There we go. This should be the same. Climb over to get to Vizier's car. What kind of hotel is this? Azure. It's a luxury resort within. Hey, we're unharmed. We didn't see anything. This should come in handy. She's tough. We'll give her that much. She's a Spectre. Vizier, it's over. Hey! Hey, you! Come here. What's your name? M mariana Mariana, you want to live, don't you? Tell those people that you want to live. Please. We'll get you out of here safely, Mariana. Well, that's good to hear. All you had to do was walk away. Now it gets ugly. Please, I have a son. A son? I hope he gets to see you again. I've heard losing a parent is just horrific for children. Scars them for life. I'm going to end you, Fazir. It's okay, Liara. We'll handle it. The usual way. You want Mariana's little boy to grow up without a mommy, Shepard? Thermal clips on the ground now. Power cells too. Is that it? What? Vasir, I sacrificed hundreds of human lives to save the Destiny Ascension. I unleashed the Rachni on the galaxy. So for your sake, I hope your escape plan doesn't hinge on me hesitating to shoot a damn hostage. You're bluffing. Now, Liara. <laughs>
miss me? Cat's personal data pad. This has what we need to find the Shadow Broker. You're dead. The Shadow Broker has been in power for decades. He's stronger than anything you've ever faced. Is that why you sold out the Council to work for him? You think I betrayed the Council? Like Saren? Go to hell. The Broker's given me damn good intel over the years. Intel that saved lives and kept the Citadel safe. So if the Broker needs a few people to disappear, I'll pay that price without hesitation. Spectres don't blow up buildings filled with innocent people. Sure we do. We get our hands dirty so the Council doesn't have to. The Councilors might complain about our methods to soothe their consciences, but they never look too closely. Besides, you're with Cerberus. You have any idea what your terrorist friends have done? I know who they are and what they've done. It doesn't matter. I think it does. You want to judge me? Look in the mirror. Kidnapping kids for biotic death camps. Hell, your own unit on a coos. And you're with them. Don't you dare judge me. Oh. Don't you? Eliminate the Sony and retrieve the data. Civilian casualties not a concern. The Seer's dead. I'm putting the data through to the Normandy's computers. We can be at the Shadow Broker's base in a few hours. He'll know about Vizier before long. If he decides to kill Farron. We'll get Farron out of there alive, Liara. I promise. I know. You're here to help. Just like always. That's not a good thing? When we first met on Therum, you saved me from the Geth. You fought a Krogan Battlemaster while I cowered. Now you're doing it again. And I'm still leaning on you for help. That's what friends do, Liara. I can get us there based on Sakat's data. The Normandy's stealth drive will keep them from detecting us. The Shadow Broker's agents are still shooting their way through Ilium. With luck, they won't notice we've left until it's too late. What's the plan when we get there? Get in, get Farron, get out. And kill anyone who tries to stop us. That's it? That's it. Will you just stop for a second? We'll be jumping several light years. There's time to talk. About what? You haven't been the same since I came back, Liara. What do you want me to say, Shepard? That I mourned you? That I feel guilty because Farron got captured? I made mistakes. I lost people. I helped get you back, and I want to do the same for Farron. 
I'll sit and talk once he's safe. Until then, enjoying the scenery is an insult to the man who saved both of us. Okay, let's go. Thank you.